And now, cutting through your typical media nonsense and offering you a rational and unbiased perspective on current events and life in Tampa Bay. He's a successful entrepreneur, published author, top listing agent, a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And yes, welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show, all about helping you be a more informed consumer, making you more street smart here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We can be heard 4 o'clock drive time right here on 860 The Answer. Uh, weekend show 1025 The Bone, and of course syndicated on 80 outlets worldwide, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, Google TV, all the different places. Uh, you can find us there through Ben's Networks. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Lots of great information. Over 2,000 videos now on our YouTube channel online. Brandon Rhymes Realty is the YouTube channel. And uh, we got a great lineup for you today. Nick Shriver, Decorating Elves, is going to be in studio. Fred Muth, a.k.a. the Tin Man, Tampa Screens at Aluminum, as well as Kurt Kennedy, our mortgage expert contributor. We're going to talk about the importance of understanding a rent versus own analysis and how that can help you. Uh, some of the latest statistics uh, when it comes to the real estate mortgage industry, as well as record debt and low savings for the United States citizens, $16.5 trillion in debt. Uh, that's $165,000 per American. Uh, interesting story coming up as well about Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, he is uh, kind of weighing in on the one of these institutions uh, with the woke ideology, which I love. Uh, New College uh, down in Sarasota, Florida. Schools, trustees. We're going to play a clip from Ronald uh, coming up on the show, Governor DeSantis here uh, on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, so before we do, we always like to feature our real estate listings live on air. It's one of the ways that we help our sellers profit more and sell faster uh, by featuring our listings live on air. Uh, this is one of my favorite listings right now. It's 1991 Orange Court in Dunedin, Florida. This is a hot listing in Pinellas County. Uh, it's on a cul-de-sac road, large executive style home uh, with a beautiful pool. Uh, it's a screened in pool in the backyard. 2,881 one square feet, five bedrooms, three bath. Uh, you've got a gorgeous kitchen that's been updated, solar panels on the roof, and a large heated pool. Also have a large screened-in patio, huge split floor plan at 1991 Orange Court in Dunedin, Florida. Now, I want to take you down to Hillsboro. 2817 Gulf City Road in Ruskin. This is a property that is a developer's dream. Great opportunity. Waterfront, 23 acres on the waterfront uh, in Ruskin, Florida, Hillsborough County. 2817 Gulf City Road, 23 acres, deep water access. So imagine as a builder, developer, you're building apartments, townhomes on this beautiful waterfront land on the Little Manatee River, direct access out into the Gulf of Mexico. Great opportunity to buy real estate through the Platinum MVP team. Uh, we've got over 50 listings here uh, in Tampa Bay and throughout the state of Florida. You can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumMVPTeam.KW.com. Yeah, that's right. Quick shout out to our veterans. We love our vets. We offer discounts, veterans as well, uh, buying, selling, or investing with the Platinum MVP team. And I want to thank Satellite Phone Store, one of our newest uh, contributors to the program, one of our newest sponsors. They just hooked me up with this awesome satellite phone. It's their SAT2 model online at sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B, like real estate quarterback, uh, sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B. Think about it. For emergencies, you never know. Terrorist attack, black swan situation comes up. Uh, maybe you're out hunting and fishing. You're out 40, 50 miles miles offshore and you're uh you need that backup communication we've got the satellite phone store now as a partner of the consumer quarterback show and they hooked me up with this beautiful model of self of a satellite phone so anywhere on the planet all you have to do is fire this baby up point it towards the equator and i've got communications i've got text messaging i've also got gps uh, location services as well satellite phone store our newest partnership satellitephonestore.com uh, they're based right here in uh, sarasota florida uh, but please go through the consumer quarterback show and we'll put you in touch 813-917-1894 that's 813-917-1894 all right let's jump right into it kurt kennedy welcome back sir thank you thanks for having me absolutely and keller mortgage uh, here in tampa bay kurt uh a lot of times you have misconceptions out there. You have a lot of the mainstream media talking points, uh, 
Uh, but that's not really what happens when you get together with a group of realtors and mortgage folks and we're talking about the market. There's a disparaging information. Absolutely. The media blows it up and we try to tame it. <laughs> that's right. We make it make sense. I, I would hope so. That's the, that's the goal. And it's still a low inventory market. That's our saving grace right now. There's still a low amount of inventory. Uh, rates are relatively good. As a matter of fact, I think they've ticked down recently. But the low inventory combined with uh, just a great time to buy, sell or, sell, or invest in real estate makes it a great time to get into the market. Absolutely. Uh, if you listen to Dave Ramsey, that's exactly what he tells you. Now's the time to buy. Um, you know, as far as the rates going down, absolutely they have. Um, you know, we're in the high fives, low sixes right now, depending on you know, strength of credit and what type of loan, um, you know, but it's still a great time to buy. Now, as opposed to renting, renting is, is one of the highest priced uh, uh, items in the history of the planet right now. The, the rents have been rising. And I remember when I first started my show about 10 years ago, uh, Harvard did a study called The Rents Are Rising. And it seems like they've continued to rise over those last nine years. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, I want to make an offer to our listeners out there uh, in our audience on YouTube channel, YouTube Brandon Rhymes Realty. Uh, Rent versus own analysis. What does that look like? What does that actually mean? Wow. Okay. That's a heavy, heavy question. So, um, you know, if you look at mortgages, they have interest rates. If you look at the interest rate, uh, you know, like I was telling you before, the, they're, we're in the high fives. If you're renting, you're paying 100% interest rate. Right. Because you're not receiving any of that equity back. Right. So if you're renting $1,000 a month, for 24 months, that's $24,000 you're putting in the landlord's pocket. Right. Whereas if you purchase a home, you might be paying $1,000 a month, but you're also receiving equity back as the time goes on, that value of the house is going to continue to go up and the balance is going to go down. Right. The difference between those two is the equity that you built at the end of you know, fill in the blank, whatever, how many years that is. Right. Yeah. And you get the tax benefits, you get the utility of, of owning the property. Maybe at some point, you know, five, 10 years down the line, you, you pull a home equity line out. If you need some cash, whatever that situation, it gives you options and you're also building wealth. Uh, and it's also, uh, there's studies also from a family perspective. I'm a big proponent of the nuclear family, a, a mother, a father, 2.23 kids, right? Uh, the kids are going to be much more happy knowing that they own the home excuse me, the home versus being a rental property. When you're renting, it's it's kind of the tragedy of the commons. People don't take care of their places as much. They're not going to be invested in the neighborhood. You're going to see more trash on the sidewalk, for example. Uh, so there's something special about home ownership, Kurt. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, if you look at, like you said, the nuclear family, that's how you build wealth. That's a checking or savings account that you just, I mean, you could still tap into it, but, you know, over time, if you, uh, let's say it's 10 years, you've built a, a sizable amount of equity in that house yes. where you could use a home equity line of credit and pay off debt or make home improvements or pay for a kid's college education. Um, that's exactly what I did with my kids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, when you look at the benefits, renting versus owning, I want to make this offer out there. So maybe it's not you, maybe it's somebody that you know of or a loved one or a family member. Uh, reach out to the hotline. We'd love to put you in touch with Kurt. He can break down the numbers on a spreadsheet. Here's what your numbers would be in rent. Here's what you could own for. And, and the numbers are going to surprise you. And I, and I want Kurt to walk through an example that he prepared also for us uh, on a, I think it was a $350,000 home. Yep. Uh, but text the word rent in the amount of rent that you're paying to our hotline go ahead and text the word rent to 813-917-1894 uh, just pull out your smartphone shoot a quick text message over to 813-917-1894 text the word rent in the amount of rent that you're paying and we're going to put together a rent versus own analysis for you or a loved one uh, and, and we'll make sure that we get back to you before our head hits the pillow that's our promise to you now kurt what's the difference there i, I think you said you prepared a uh, an estimation for us yeah so i was looking at pinellas county which is the county that i live in and so the average amount of rent in pinellas county is we'll we'll round it down to twenty five hundred dollars so twenty five hundred dollars for a 900 square foot apartment house fill in the blank whatever that looks like to you and so what I looked at is what is the difference between rent and purchasing you could actually purchase a $350,000 house 
put down 5%, have seller contributions to cover the closing costs, and pay less in a mortgage than you are in rent in Pinellas County. Wow. And it's a no brainer. That's a way to build equity. That's what people are doing too. They're buying up properties. They're renting them out. They're renting them long term. They're renting them short term, Airbnb, uh, VRBO. There, there's so many people investing in real estate because they see that it's a great place to be. A lot of the big hedge funds have been doing that for years now. They're investing millions and millions of dollars into these, these hedge funds. They're buying up properties, turning them into rentals because they know they can demand higher rents right now as well. Uh, we're talking with Kurt Kennedy, Keller Mortgage. He He's our expert contributor for all things mortgage and finance related uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Kurt Kennedy uh, in the house. I'm your host, Brandon Rimes. I want to play a quick clip here uh, from one of the podcasts talking about record debt and the lowest amount of savings that we've had on the history of the planet as Americans. While the rate of inflation may have eased somewhat last month, Americans still have little reason for economic optimism as household debt reached an all-time high and personal savings rates approached record lows. Here with more on why Americans are falling into so much debt and what it means for the future is Daily Wire senior editor Cabot Phillips. So Cabot, record debt here. What can you tell us? Well, over the last few weeks, we've seen some positive headlines on the economy. Inflation came down last month. The jobs report showed steady growth and markets are up about 4% to start the year. But buried in those headlines are some concerning trends that paint a much more ominous picture of where we're heading in 2023. A new report from NerdWallet found the average household owing more than $165,000 in debt. Mm. In total, Americans now owe $16.5 trillion. That's a 7.5% increase from the same study last year. Mm. And to make matters worse, that same study found 45% of workers say that their pay has not gone up enough over the last year to compensate for the rising cost of living, meaning even more debt could be on the horizon. Yeah, yeah, and we've all heard that. We know we know food costs more, gas costs more. We we've heard that rents are up. Everything's hurt. Every, everything's up uh, since Biden took office. Uh, you know, sixteen point five trillion, seven point five percent increase from year over year, and that's one hundred sixty five thousand dollars per household. I said citizen earlier; it's household. Uh, but yeah, Kurt. So that's that's very ominous news. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you do with that? I mean, you know yeah. the. The, the way of overcoming some of that is actually purchasing a home mm-hmm. and using the equity to maybe paying off some of that debt so that you're not, you know, being called for collections or whatever the case may be. Yeah, because year after year, year after year, it's going to continue to grow up. That's the one thing that we've learned. Rents are sticky. In other words, they call it sticky rent because once it goes up, it's not coming back down. Yeah. So that's a challenge that people have. Yeah, yeah. And so the other thing that I would say is, and we've talked about this in previous shows, is the buy-down situation. Yeah. You know, I was was just using, without a buy-down, your payments on that would be about, um, I want to say it was like Mm $2,250 as opposed to paying $2,500 in rent. But you could use that money for the, the... uh, seller contributions to pay down the interest rate to have an even a lower payment than what I had even told you before. Right. Yeah. I'm a certified negotiation expert. I take a great pride in, in being the best at what I do, a local economist when it comes to real estate. And and when you negotiate these things into deals, Kurt, and you see a lot of contracts passing through your desk, you and Brian over there at Keller Mortgage, uh, you know, you, these are all negotiable items, you know, seller concessions, you know, even realtor rebates sometimes. Those are things that you can talk to your realtor about You can and, and have that consultation and, and find out, you know, how you can structure the deal to make sense, because there's always a win-win deal there. You just got to work a little bit harder to find it in some cases. Yeah, you know, <laughs> in yesteryear, we'll call it six months ago. Yeah. Um, you know, we weren't having those conversations about seller concessions and seller contributions. Now, I mean, we hear that in just about every single contract. Yeah. And even though there's, you know, there's still about the same amount of inventory on the market right now, the pendulum is shifting. It just hasn't shifted. Yeah, exa- exactly. Absolutely. Uh, so we've got Kurt Kennedy uh, on the show. Kurt, we got about a minute left, so I want to give uh, you the last, the floor here for the last minute. Uh, tell us a little about what makes you different and why folks want to reach out to you. And you can meet with them locally here, of course, in Tampa Bay, or you can do a phone or Zoom anywhere across the country. Yeah, absolutely. Um, options is the biggest thing. I want to sit down there and coach them and give them their options so that they can make an informed decision on wh- which way they want to go. And if we could do that ahead of time, you know, there's a big difference between 
conventional and FHA. And the rates might be less on an FHA, but the payment can actually be less on a conventional, even though the rate's lower on an FHA. Mm. So I think informing the consumer about what those options are and why that's, there's a difference there. You know, if someone calls me and say, what's your lowest rate? Well, sometimes the lowest rate isn't the best option for you. Right. That could cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. And so um, that's what my job is, and that's what I enjoy doing, is talking to the consumer and helping them to kind of sort that that out. I know if uh, if I was on that side of the, t- uh, of the desk, I would want that. Yeah, absolutely. And you can't just, it's so difficult just to call some random loan officer up and say, what's your rate? There's so many, you know, credits, there's so many variables, credit score, down payment, loan type, income documentation, uh, all those different places, type of home, property type, condo, single family. It gets into a lot. So it's very detailed. Uh, I believe your email also, kkennedy at kellermortgage.com. That's correct. kkennedy at kellermortgage.com. And then, of course, reach out to the show hotline. We'll put you directly in touch. 813 Nine one seven eighteen ninety four, and reach out for that rent versus own analysis. That is a great opportunity for you or a loved one that is in that position. You're paying rent, and you know you want to do better, and you can do better, and we can help you do that. And it may be a six month or a year process. Eight one three nine one seven eighteen ninety four. Kirk Kennedy, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely, thank you for having me. I look forward to the next time. Absolutely, my pleasure. All right, coming back, we got a feel good story of the day. Eighty two year old Walmart cashier retires after TikToker raises over $100,000. We'll be right back here with Fred Mew, Tampa Screens and Aluminum, and our Feel Good Story of the Day coming up. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, everybody, it's the captain, Matt Bruce, and you're listening to my buddy, Brandon Rimes, a Consumer Quarterback. Sell, Brandon, sell. Yeah. <laughs>